The only conclusion that I can draw is we can do something that they can't. And in every sense of the word, they think they're superior. They're stronger. They're bigger. They are the leaders in our social construct. But they can't make a human life. And we can. You can't. And for those of you who can't see what that question is, it says, why do they hate us so much? We don't hate women. We hate how a lot of women act, but we don't hate women. That's just a, a myth and a lie that women like to say when they're not getting their way. And the other thing, women do not create life. Women do not give life. Women nurture life from the time of conception all the way until the child grows up to be 18. It is what it is or beyond that. But women do not create life. Men and men with their sperm fertilize eggs, determine the sex of children. Men give life. Men have the spark of life. And really, it's, this is kind of like a reversal. Women are upset that they don't have that control. Women are upset that they can't do certain things men do. They're upset that they can't overpower men with physical strength. That's what they're upset about because they want to be men so bad. They can't stand that imbalance or what they think is an imbalance, but it's really just a balance of nature because men can do certain things that women can't do and women can do certain things that men can't do. It's like that for a reason. But all we do is we wake up every single day and we hear women attack men all day just for being men. So I think, like I said, this is a reversal and this is some projection. Men don't hate women. We love women. But a lot of men are just done putting up with women and their foolishness. And is that why? Is that why? I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. No, you don't know. And hopefully you'll watch this video and you'll understand that and you'll watch some other videos and you'll understand that. We don't hate you. We don't like how you act. We don't like how you treat men. We don't like how you raise some of our sons. We don't like that men are constantly getting thrown under the bus and blamed for every single thing that goes wrong. But at the same time, women want to claim every single positive that they deem to be a great thing for them. When it's good, it's good. It's fine. You love men. But as soon as you don't get your way or when you de develop some type of jealousy towards men, it's, oh, they hate us. As soon as men call you out for your attitude, your attention seeking and the way you hop from man to man and do all the things you do. Oh, you hate us because see men can't tell you the truth. Men can't chastise you. Men can't point out things that we don't like, because if we do, it's hatred towards women. And it's just ridiculous because it's not the case at all. Men are just fed up with the way a lot of you act. Men are fed up with watching these videos that you have to post every single day to get attention from other women. See, it's not enough for you just to get up here and do these videos. You know, you doing your makeup or wherever the case may be. A lot of you guys use men and throw men under the bus to get a lot of attention. And men are tired of it. But you don't hear all men walking around saying women just hate us women just hate us women just hate us because men don't want to hate women and we don't want to say that about you but if you keep pushing men to the brink what else is men are, are men supposed to do are we just supposed to sit back and take this constant verbal abuse you know all these allegations you know being generalized all men are this and all men are dogs and all this how much more of that do you expect men to take before men just start going their own way and not dealing with you. There's a reason why men don't want to marry women. There's a reason why men are not getting married. They're not, and people are not having children in uh, marriages or anything like that. There's a reason why a lot of people are getting divorced, divorced. But of course, that's all the man's fault because women are just oppressed in, 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 in Western society, right? Everything is the man's fault. But everything that you see, if you look at that video, you see that wall, you see that building she's in, you see that makeup, you see everything that she has, anything that has to do with the structure of Western society, men built it. 
You don't have no problem taking from it every single day and benefiting from it. You don't have a problem with um, using that phone that men created. You don't have a problem with that, right? Men are tired of being thrown under the bus. So look, we don't hate you. We just don't like the way you act. And we don't like this, this, this one-sided blame. Everybody has things that they can work on. Men are not perfect, and we never said we were. But you guys roll around and act like you're perfect, and you blame men for every single thing that you don't like. And that is what we're tired of. It's not hate. It's just being honest. Start taking some accountability, and maybe your situation as a woman will change, and maybe you'll view men differently. But if you don't do that, you're just going to live your life, the rest of your life being miserable, blaming someone else. So the choice is yours. That's all I have to say on this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to like the video. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, show me some love over there and give me a follow. I'd appreciate it. I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube, and it's been in the last few days that I'm getting to that point. So I really wanted to thank you guys for doing that. It really means a lot to me. And with that said, I'm out of here. You guys have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.